Yayoi Kusama. She is an artist who has been actively producing work from the mid-1950s through the present. She has been a part of the movements and styles of conceptual art, pop art, minimalism, feminist art, and performance art. Yayoi Kusama's goal with her art is to give her viewers a look into how she sees the world, a blurring with an alternate reality and one which should not have the war nor patriarchy, so that they can understand her fight in the early part of her career and her piece in the later part. To explore the thesis, we will look at four different pieces of art that span her career and themes. Sex Obsession, Food Obsession, Macaroni Infinity Nuts and Kusama, Narcissus Garden, An Atomic Explosion on Wall Street, Infinity Mirrored Rooms, The Souls of Millions of Light Years Away. Before getting into each piece, it's important to understand a bit of Kusama's background. Growing up in Japan, she was the youngest of four within an affluent family. Her father, having taken his wife's name, was emasculated and so would engage in many affairs. Her mother was abuse abusive emotionally and physically, making Kusama do things like spy on her father as he had sex. This left Kusama traumatized of the male body and sex in general. At around age 10, Kusama began experiencing vivid visual hallucinations, and this is also when she began painting to cope with them. As a young woman, she worked in a factory in Japan during World War II, which made her hate war and injustice. She tried studying art in Kyoto, Japan, but was only permitted to study traditional watercolor paintings because of anti-Western attitudes. With the help of Georgia O'Keeffe and after being disowned, she moved to New York and worked feverishly. In 1973, however, she returned to Japan due to mental and physical exhaustion, and a couple years later checked herself into a mental hospital. She still works on her art across the street from 9 to 6 each day, with the help of some hired assistants. Now for the highlighted piece. The first shows Kusama lying naked on her famous soft sculptures, as well as macaroni pasta, which forms her iconic patterns of repetition. Lying prone in this way, she is working to subvert and conquer her own feelings of discomfort. To aid her in this effort, she has covered herself in her signature polka dots, as she is most comfortable when seen as merely one polka dot in the universe of many. This piece foreshadows her work in the late 1960s, where she uses her own body and the bodies of others in public performances to make different challenges. See here her eye contact with the viewers. The second piece is her most well-known, as well as her first successful experimentation with performance art. On the lawn outside of Paris's Biennial, she's covered the surface with 12-inch in diameter plastic mirrored balls that reflect distorted images of reality, of each other, the landscape, the viewers, and Kusama as well. Dressed in a gold kimono with a silver sash, highlighting her otherness, she peddled the balls at $2 a piece and distributed flyer with Herbert Reeds, an English anarchist poet and critic of literature and art, flattering remarks about her work. To Kusama, who is admittedly obsessed with fame, this was a great opportunity. See how she is posing for the photo, again making eye contact. The third piece, A Happening, took place on October 15, 1968, outside the New York Stock Exchange. Prefaced by a press release and followed by an open letter to the president, this anti-Vietnam War piece featured nude performers dancing to the beat of bongo drums, while Kusama, calling herself priestess, painted blue polka dots on the dancer's body. After 15 minutes, the police came and ended the performance. To Kusama, nudity represented peace and love and was used to counter the horrors of war. Unlike with the previous pieces, this was another outlet of self-promotion, where the, the publicity would lead to mass communication of her and her ideas in a controlled sort of chaos. And the fourth piece is the most recent of her infinity mirror rooms, of which there have been more than 20 distinct ones. These immersive environments are a culmination of her work, with the illusion of endless space as the lights reflect off the mirrors in the infinite, chamber-like room and rhythmically flickering LED lights hang from the ceiling. The viewer, allowed only one at a time, can reflect on what it means to live and die in this quiet, meditative space. This represents the interconnectedness we have with the cosmic, and shows Kusama's more harmonious aspirations of inner and outer peace. See also the Aboriginal dot artists. Now in her 90s, Kusama, who has always seen art as a survival mechanism, where we can see a clear progression from her early work that sought to fight and disrupt to her later work, which reconciles.